G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well today this is going to be a little simple one. It's about the ISS. It's got a leak. The air is leaking out into the infinite vacuum of space, as Anthony Riley says that it should. Well of course it will up there, maybe not down here. Anyway, Ivan had tweeted this tweet the other day saying that they're now having to sit all inside the Soviet module. I think what they've done is they basically run around and shut all the doors and hatches everywhere and they go and sit over in the Russian side and they just monitor it for a couple of days and try and work out where is this jolly thing leaking. Well, before you worry about some astronaut floating by the leak and getting spaghettified as they're shot outside, this leak has been known about since about September last year and because everything's been really rush rush busy busy for the last few months they haven't had a chance to do like a full shutdown and close all the doors and then just sit and wait. And the fact that they've got to wait for a whole three or four days to work out just where the leak is would suggest that it's a very tiny leak. So I don't think we've got anything too much to worry about. You know this is yet another everyday operational happening that just goes to highlight once more how real the ISS is. Now that everything is all closed and shut, all the pressures are monitored in the other modules and they'll be able to work out just where the leak is. The three station residents will have plenty of room in Zvedna this weekend anyway. This is the module that provided the full living quarters when it was initially set up in the year 2000, 20 years ago. Oh, and do you see what I see here? Here's a pro tip for young players when looking at people in the ISS. It's all about the feet. Now just check out where they've all got their feet got socks on they've got them tucked in under those rails so that they can control themselves and not float around so cool now here is a video for peter bergen that little sock who keeps bugging me all the time and never is happy with anything i show him so here's a booster that's landing on the barge with the camera pointed up a little more than usual that's kind of impressive And finally to take us out, here's Wasop yet again with another beautiful video. This time this is what happens when you undo a hatch and you don't need to take it anywhere except you want to get rid of it. I guess they say, hey boys, can we just toss this thing? And they go, yep. So the ballistics control guy says, toss it at such and such an angle. And that's what they do. Push and away it goes. Bye bye. I guess it'll just slow down and fall down and go burn up in the atmosphere and never a problem. Okay, that's enough guys. Bye for now.